Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee A Levels Mathematics Tutorials. Today, we are going to talk about a new chapter, Chapter 9 Differentiation. In Chapter 9, I divide into 11 sections from Section 9.1 Differentiating Size X and Cosine X, Section 9.2 Exponential and Logarithm, and until the last section is Rate of Change. And of course, the summary section makes exercise is also provided for you. For today, we look at the differentiating sides x and cosine x. You need to be able to differentiate sine x and cosine x from the first principle. You can use the following small angle approximation for sine and cosine when the angle is measured in radians. If the angle is very small in radians, sine x is approximately to x and cosine x is approximately to 1 minus half x squared. So what is differentiation? If you have a function y equal to fx like this curve and if you take the differentiation you write y that equal to f that x is equal to the slope of the function as a point. That means if you differentiate the y into y dash and you get an equation of fx dash and you substitute this point into this function you will get the slope of this curve at this point this is the differentiation so we come back here if the radian is very very small psi x is approximately to x and cosine x is approximate to 1 minus half x square this means that limit h tend to 0 psi h over h is equal to limit h tend to 0 h over h is equal to 1 because psi x because psi h is approximately to h when the radian is very small so we got the limits of h tend to 0 psi h over h is equal to 1 and limits h tend to 0 cosi h minus 1 over h is equal to limits h tend to 0 1 minus half h square minus 1 over h is equal to limit h tend to 0 minus half h and if h tend to 0 the value will be 0 this one is 0 and this one is 1 you will need to use these two limits when you differentiate size and cosine x from the first principle let me take an example example 1 Proof from the first principle that the derivative of psi x is cosine x. You may assume that h tend to 0, psi h over h tend to 1, and cosine h minus 1 over h tend to 0. If the function fx equal to psi x and f that h is limits h tend to 0, fx plus h minus fx over h equal to limits h tend to 0, psi x plus h minus psi x over h and psi x plus h is equal to psi x cosine h plus cosine x psi h minus psi x over h and if you take the common factors of psi x in here you get the cosine h minus 1 over h and this is the psi h over h equal to here and you get the cosine x at this point you know that when the limit h tend to 0 cosine h minus 1 over h is equal to 0 from the second principle so this one is equal to 0 multiplied by psi x and this one psi h over h psi h over h is equal to 1 so this one is 1 multiplied by cosine x so you get 0 multiplied by psi x you get 0 and 1 multiplied by cosine x you get cosine x. That means the limit of psi h plus h minus psi x over h is equal to cosine x. That proof the differentiation of psi x is equal to cosine x. We continue here. If you have a y equal to psi kx, then dy by dx is equal to k cosine x and y equals to cosine x then dy by dx is equal to minus k remember this minus 
sine kx. That means from sine derivative, we got cosine, and from cosine derivative, we got minus psi. Remember this minus psi here. Example 2, we find the derivative given that part a y equal to psi 2x. If y equal to psi 2x, dy by dx is 2 cosine 2x. Because psi 2x is 10 to cosine 2x, and you got 2 here, 2 is the k value. You substitute in here. So you get dy by dx is equal to 2 cosine 2x. If y equal to cosine 5x, cosine is changed to psi 5x, and phi here is changed to minus phi here. So the derivative of y equal to cosine phi x is equal to minus phi psi phi x. If y equal to 3 cosine x plus 2 psi x, dy by dx equal to 3 multiplied by minus psi x plus 2 multiplied by 4 cosine 4 x is equal to minus 3 psi x plus 8 cosine 4x. In example 3, if a curve has equation y equal to half x minus cosine 2x, find the stationary point on the curve in the interval 0 to pi. So dy by dx is the derivative of this function here. We get half because if you derivative, half x is equal to half. And derivative of minus cosine 2x is minus minus 2 psi 2x. So it's equal to half plus 2 psi 2x. The stationary pawn, that means at this pawn, the derivative is equal to 0. So we let dy by dx equal to 0 and solve for the x. You get half plus 2 psi 2x equal to 0. And psi 2x is equal to minus 1 4. So we got 2x is equal to 3.394 and 6.03 in radians. But remember that when x is from 0 to pi, 2x have to be from 2x have to be from 0 to 2 pi. This is the range of 2x. So we get x is equal to 1.7 and 3.0 for this equation. When x is equal 1.7, we substitute 1.7 into the original equation. We got y is equal to 1.82. If x equal to 3.02 and y equal to 0.539. So we get two points here. One point is 1.7, 1.82. And the other one is 3.02, 0 0.539. This is the two stationary point of the curve, y equal to half x minus cosine 2x. So after these three examples, we are ready for we are ready for the exercise question number four, five, six, seven, and the challenge question, question number eight. So prepare your pen, calculator, and paper. We are going to rock the exercise now. Question number four. Given that the fx equals to cosine x and show that f dash x does mean the derivative of fx dy by dx equal to limits x tend to zero. Back at cosine x minus one over x multiplied by cosine x minus side x over x multiply by psi x. We have to prove this. And b part, hence prove the f dash x equal to minus psi x. First of all, we have f x equal to cosi x. So f dash x is equal to limit x tend to zero. f x plus h minus f x over h and then we have limit h tend to zero cosine x plus h minus cosine x over h equal to limit h tend to zero cosine x plus x is cosine x cosine h minus psi x 
cosine h minus cosine x over h. So we take the common factors of cosine x from here. We got cosine h minus 1 over h multiplied by cosine x. And then we minus psi h over h. This one, psi h over h, multiplied by psi x. So that we prove the f dash x is equal to limits h tend to 0, cosi h minus 1 over h, cosi x minus psi h over h, psi x. So we prove this one is equal to this one. And then b part is proof that the f dash x equal to minus psi x. So we have from the a part, f dash x is equal to limit h tend to 0, cosi h minus 1 over h multiplied by cosi x, and minus limit h tend to 0, psi h over h multiplied by psi x. And we know that when the limit h tend to 0, cosi h minus 1 over h is equal to 0. So this one is 0 multiplied by cosi x. And we know that psi h over h, if h tend to 0, this one is equal to 1. So it's minus 1 multiplied by psi x. So it's equal to minus psi x. Therefore, we prove fx is equal to cosi x, f dash x is equal to minus psi x. Question number five, we find the derivative of a given a, b, c, d for question. If f x equal to two cosi x, f dash x is equal to two, the derivative of cosi x is minus psi x, so it's minus psi x. B part, if f x equal to six cosi five over six x, f dash x is equal to, we keep this six and five over six x, so it's five over six x, and cosi turn to minus psi, so it's minus psi five over 6x. Cancel the 6 out, we got minus 5 psi 5 over 6x. This is the derivative of this function. And C part here, if fx equal to 4 cosi half x, f dash x, that means the dy by dx is equal to, we keep this 4 and cosi turn it into minus psi, so it's minus psi half x. Of course, we have to take this half out, so we multiply by half here. So I nearly forgot to multiply by half here, so we got minus 2 psi half x. This is the derivative of this function. And d part here, f x equal to 3 cosi 2x, so f dash x is equal to we keep this 3, and this 2 is get out, so it's multiplied by 2, and cosine into minus psi 2x. So we got minus 6 psi 2x here. Question number 6. A curve has the equation y equal to psi 5x plus cosine 3x. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve as the point pi and minus 1. So if we have y equal to psi 5x plus cosine 3x, dy by dx is equal to 5 cosine 5x minus 3 psi 3x. The, deriv the derivative of this function is actually the slope of this function as a specified point. So, so we have a point like this, 
we can get the equation of the tangent by this point, by the Poinsot solution form. And you, if you remember, the Poinsot solution form is that is the Poinsot solution form of a straight line. This tangent is equal to y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. And y1 and x1 is this point. And the m is the loop of this curve. So m is the dy by dx. So we have y minus minus 1 equal to m is the loop is this one. 5 cosine 5x five minus 3 sine 3x. And of course, the x value is pi here. So multiply by x minus x1 is pi. So we substitute into the equation. We got y plus 1 equal to cosine 5x. This is the pi. Cosine 5x is cosine 5 pi. And we know that cosine pi is equal to minus 1. So it's 1 pi, 2 pi, 3, 4, and 5 pi is equal to minus 1. So this one is minus 5. We know that size 0, size pi, and size 2 pi, size 3 pi is equal to 0. So we got this one is minus 0. And x minus pi. So we got y plus 1 equal to minus 5 multiplied by x minus pi. And y plus 1 is equal to minus 5x plus 5 pi. And actually, y is equal to minus 5x plus 5 pi minus 1. This is the equation of the tangent at the point pi minus 1 of the curve y equal to psi 5x plus cosi 3x. Question number 7. A curve has the equation y equal to 2x squared minus psi x. Show that the equation of the normal, not the tangent, the normal to the curve as the point with the x coordinate pi is this equation. When x equal pi, y is equal to 2 pi squared minus psi pi. And psi pi is 0, so y is equal to 2 pi squared. So we got the point pi and 2 pi squared. This is the point at which we have to find the normal. We first find the slope of the tangent at this point. So the loop of this curve is dy by dx. So it's equal to 4x minus psi is changed to cosine x. And the loop of the normal, this is the loop of the tangent. And we, if we want to find the loop of the normal, so we got loop of normal is equal to minus 1 over the loop of tangent. Okay, so at this point, the loop of the normal is equal to, we let the loop of the normal is equal to m. So m normal, we call it mn. So the mn is equal to minus 1 over 4x minus cosine x. But at this point, x is pi, so it's equal to minus 1, 4 pi minus cosine pi. And cosine pi is equal to minus 1, so minus cosine pi is equal to plus 1. We got the normal of this equation. And if we want to find the equation and we got a loop, we use the Poinsot loop form. The Poinsot loop form is that y minus y1 is equal to m multiplied by x minus x1. So this is the y1 and x1 x1 equal to pi and y1 equal to 2 pi square. So we got y minus 2 pi square is equal to the slope minus 1 over 4 pi plus 1 and multiply by x minus x1. x1 is pi. So we get is y minus 2 pi square is equal to pi minus x over 4 pi minus 1. And we cross multiplication, we got y minus 2 pi square multiplied by 4 pi minus 1, 4 pi plus 1, sorry, 4 pi plus 1. 
is equal to pi minus x. And we take everything to the left hand side. So we have the x minus x to the left hand side is x. And we multiply each out, we got minus pi. And y multiplied by 4 pi, we got plus 4 pi y. y multiplied by 1, we got y. 2 and 8, we got minus 8 pi cubed. 2 pi squared minus 1 plus 1 is minus 2 pi squared equal to 0. We take the terms y out, we got x plus 4 pi plus 1 multiplied by y and minus, we take the pi out, pi, this one should be 8 pi squared plus 2 pi plus 1 equal to 0. So we have proved that this is equal to 0. This is what we want to prove. So this is proved. Question number 8. Challenge question. Prove that from the first principle that the derivative of psi kx is equal to k cos x. You may assume the formula psi a plus b and that is h tend to 0. Psi kx of h tend to k and cos kx minus 1 of h tend to 0. If we have the equation fx is equal to psi kx and f dash x is equal to limit h tend to 0 f of kx plus k h over h minus f of k x and limit h tend to zero we got psi k x plus k h over minus psi k x over h when h is ten to zero and is equal to limit h ten to zero psi a plus b so we got psi k x cos k h plus cos k x psi k h over h minus psi k x if we take the common factors of psi k x out we have limit h tend to zero we have cos k h minus 1 over h multiplied by it takes this common factor out multiplied by psi k x and plus the limit of h tend to 0 psi k h over h multiplied by cos k x and then we know that when h tend to 0, psi k h over h is 10 to k. This one is 10 to k. And cos k h minus 1 over h 10 to 0. This one is 10 to 0. So we have 0 multiplied by psi k x and plus this one is k and plus k multiplied by cos k k x and that is equal to k cos k x we proved the derivative dy by dx of psi k x is equal to k cos k x muchas gracias again thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos and if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me 
at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我呢個 video。如果你係希望你個 mathematics 同埋你個英文係更加好嘅話咧，你想要一個 private tutor 啦，你可以隨時 contact 我嘅，令到你個 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。